Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I've been going back and forth on this and I'm having a very close look now at the Scottish Government website to see if I'm okay to go back out in the field uh, for wildlife photography and making my YouTube videos. And uh, right off the bat, I want to say that I can like YouTube to me is part of how I make money as part of my business as a wildlife photographer. So I'm on the Scottish Government website here um, where it's uh, it's about coronavirus, COVID-19, business and social distancing guidance. So basically, they have a list of loads of businesses that are that basically has to shut. And then every other business, they have a guidance that basically a set of questions that you need to ask yourself to see whether it's okay for you to keep uh, to keep going about your normal day-to-day -day business. So the main questions here are, is what you do essential or material to the effort against the virus or to the well-being of society? Well, I'm going to say the, the videos that I make on YouTube are uh, to the well-being of society. And I'm basing that from you guys, the comments that you give me, that they're inspirational, educational and um, entertaining to watch, especially at a time like this. If you guys agree with that or disagree with that, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinions on that. Uh, and then the other one, are you able to demonstrate and give confidence to your workforce that you can consistently practice safe social distancing and comply with all other standard, other standard health and safety requirements? So yes, that is um, basically as a wildlife photographer and doing my videos, social distancing is uh, essential at all times, not just during COVID-19. Uh, basically, if there's loads of people around me, then wildlife is going to get scared off and I don't get to take photos. So I'm always practicing social distancing uh, when I'm out taking wildlife photos. And the health and safety is going to be a bit stricter. Basically, I, 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 won't go, I won't go climbing any big hills or anything like that. I won't set off to the middle of nowhere where there's a potential or high risk of me needing to be rescued. I also won't go near any cliff edges or anything like that to put myself at risk. It's going to be very easy going. Not, not that my wildlife photography was ever very unsafe, but I'm going to be even more careful to not put myself at any additional risk that, you know, should anything happen, should anything happen, then I would need uh, emergency service and I would put extra pressure on the NHS. So basically, following these guidance, I think it is okay for me to start going out doing my videos again. I will put the links uh, that I've taken all this from uh, in the description below. I do know that this is for this is guidance for Scotland, and this is guidance for business. This is not going out for exercise and bringing my camera. This is actually me working and making an income uh, in a safe way during COVID-19. So with that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is me going out the other morning, uh, just at sunrise, photographing some birds. So enjoy that. Hi. Good morning. Had some absolutely amazing weather here in Scotland. The last probably week, probably five days, it's been sunny. And this was supposed to be the last day where I would get a proper sunrise. So I've been up, I got up at five o'clock and I was eager to go back to this place um, down by the river. Um, a lot of shrubs and low, low um, gorse bushes. And I've had a lot of birds on them in the morning singing. It's like Yellowhammer, as you can hear down here now. Um, <coughs> quite a few. Willow Warbler, as you can hear there as well. Uh, Donnacks and just all these kind of birds that go for that kind of habitat and they often uh, sit on top of the gorse and sing in the morning and so I've been going for that for the last I don't know day or two I've come up here and yesterday I tried for some backlit images and I'm very happy with one of them that I got up a, oh, a yellow hammer so I thought I would come back and give that one last try in the nice weather but then I woke up and it is very, very misty. But figured, as I'm up, I might as well come over here. And you never know, it could get lucky. It could clear up, it could get some absolutely insane light through the mist. So figured, much better off trying. Um, and so, I'd much rather be out here 
in the morning than just lying in bed anyways. At least that's what I say when I'm up and out. When I'm lying in bed, I'm, I, I take a bit more convincing. Two golden eyes. Golden eyes in the river. I've seen them here a couple of times now. They might, might actually be breeding here in the river. It's really cool. Anyways, it's looking really cool ahead of me. It's still quite thick and clouded, but there is potential. There's potential for light to come through there. And I was coming out here to focus on backlit images to begin with, but when this, when it's like this though, I'm, uh, I'm gonna turn, turn the other way, unless I can shoot into the mist here, uh, catch something in a tree or something could be cool, but we're gonna be going past uh, the little area that I was talking about and then kind of walking back into it, um, shooting more front, front lit. Um, but I mean, this is nice and diffused light now. That's a bit different, but I have a feeling like it's gonna clear up. And I think that's the, what the weather report is saying about uh, sunrises in uh, maybe just a few minutes. So let's see. Yeah, 5.40, I think sunrise is around now actually. It might take a little bit longer just to clear these, this the end of the hill in front of me and some trees. So, this is where I live. This is the River D. runs out to Aberdeen. Um, and this is just one of the many places that I've been exploring when I've lived here. And there's rabbits everywhere on this on this grass here. But it doesn't it doesn't tempt that much to photograph the rabbits. I might give that a shot one day, but I really want to get some amazing light on if it's gonna be photos of rabbits. Now though, this is it's almost like a little island out here. You see there's all these rocks. That's actually from the river. And sometimes when I think when the river gets a bit higher it kind of diverges and it comes probably near me here um, but there's this little island of gorse um, up in the middle there and it just looks like a little bit of a bird of paradise really uh, you can't really walk into it very much because gorse it's filled with gorse and gorse is really prickly stingy um, so there's tiny little areas I can walk in but I noticed that um, last week when I was walking on the other side of the river and I saw a sparrowhawk just fly low over here. And sparrowhawk is always a good sign. It's you know basically a top predator for for these small birds. Um, so it's a good sign of a healthy ecosystem to have have a top predator present. And so there's probably loads for it, uh, loads of small birds for it to go for here. So. Uh, Oh, I can hear the hear the yellowhammer. I'd like to get some more photos of the yellowhammer. It's quite a nice yellowy looking bird. I was thinking it looks like a bit of a pirate. Just get the stripes in front. I'm half kind of expecting to see a little patch on its eye. Did you see that? Another pair of golden eye. And they were actually sitting here, which is what I was talking about. It's been, I guess it's part of the river, but right now it's just this enclosed bit of water here. And that's the second day in a row they've been sitting right here. So that's good to know. I would love to get some more photos of Goldeneye. So maybe next time I try and not flush them. <laughs> maybe I can make my way here in a different way. And kind of try and sneak up on them a bit. Also, if they're they are breeding here. I don't want to don't want to disturb them, so I better better watch out for that next time. Sometimes it can be a bit hard waking up early in the morning, but the thing is, once you get up and out and surrounded by birdsong and all that, you just hardly ever 
regret getting up so early. I already feel awake. There's just no telling what's gonna happen here now. But this mist seems to be lying about for a while. But even if it burns off a bit later and the sun comes through then, it could be really cool light uh, when the sun does come through, even if it's been up for quite a bit. Um, that could be quite interesting light. So I'm happy to be out even if I'm not getting the sunrise that I wanted. Oyster catchers flying up ahead. There is a lot of uh, bird life here. I'm right in front of um, the kind of end of it now. This is towards east, slightly northeast. And I'm facing um, that way. So the sun is gonna rise behind me here. All right, I'm just gonna walk up here in the grass and then um, stand there and look out for birds and hopefully something will come and you can get some photos. Alright, change of plans. It's getting really bright back there. It looks like it's gonna burn off, so I'm gonna make my way up back the way I came from and hopefully try for some backlight images. <coughs> I do really like the feel of some of those backlight images if you can get it right. So I'd like to try a bit more of that. So I need to go back up here for a little bit and get a nice view back. Yeah, this is looking, it is looking really cool. You can see this kind of light is coming through and still a bit of mist on the hills. Here's the yellow hammer again, right up in this bush there. That's not a great bush that it's standing in because it's a bit higher than everything else. When I want to take these backlit images. I don't want them, I don't want the shrubs here too high because if they're very high and then basically my background is the sun or the sky it doesn't tend to work very well. I would ideally I'd want the, the lower shrubs and then my background can be these see these trees and the hill that's far away here so that's a dark background and then I can really get that, um, uh, and if the sun is at a little bit of an angle to them, I can get that rim lighting effect that really shows in the, with that darker background. So that's ideally what I'm looking for. All right, let's see if I have time for a cup of coffee before that sun comes up. Sun is just hitting the hills behind me here. That looks incredible, absolutely incredible. You can hear birds here chirping away. So hopefully, they'll land on top of some of these gorse or shrubs that are in front of me here. So always that if once you settle for one place you start looking around just like should I have gone over there instead? Always the case. So it's really good to come back again and again because you start to notice that some of the birds have favorite perches that they sing from. The first time I went here and I came back to the same place as up there. The second time I noticed the Dunnock sitting on exactly the same twig singing in the morning. And this yellow hammer up here obviously seemed to like this bush up here. So it's really, for me it's really nice to have stopped traveling a bit so I can come back regularly again and again to the same places that's on my doorstep.
really get to know the birds, the habitat, the wildlife that's here. And obviously then, you know, your photography, when you come back again and again to a place, that kind of, you get ideas and you get, um, you know, you get inspiration and ideas when you see, when you start to notice patterns of behavior and things like that. So it's a really good idea to just, you know, even if you are stuck at home now and you can, you're in a city, you can't go out far and like that, you know, there's, there's plenty to just kind of explore, explore more deeply in a, in a more limited area. All right, so that has been one fantastic morning. I've absolutely loved it. And this, look at this. Look at the light on the hills back there. It's just still really cool. Um, I'm gonna make my way slowly back home now. Have some more breakfast and coffee and relax a bit. But um, yeah, it's been a good morning. Got a few images there I'm really happy with. And hopefully maybe I can get some more on the way back. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, yeah, it's been nice to take you guys out on walks again. And do let me know what you guys think about me starting up again, do venturing out uh, like this, taking photos, and um, taking you guys with me. Uh, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to do anything risky, uh, but you know, I will spend more time out filming. But I'm in a place where there's very little people. This is the first per person I see out here today. There's somebody coming up ahead with uh, with a dog. So, um, and that's been, I've been out for a good few hours now. So yeah, not really any risk with the, with the virus thing. Um, 
But it's good to get people, other people's opinion on it. So I do value your guys' opinion on what you have. Uh, so let me know and hope you guys are all well and see you soon.